let's start with the pinout view first you can move everything zoom in zoom out recenter if you are a little bit lost you can search and turn things okay as you can see there is different color on the pin the yellow one are power one so that means you can configure it for another purpose and those one are reserved if you want to know the meaning of this color if you've got other color you can go in pinout menu and here you got pinout view color here you will have a table sorry with all the different meaning okay this could help and clarify sometime so now i propose we start by configure a basic gpio as a gpio output uh, for a led on pa8 for example so first i will search the pin so i will use the search bar pa8 i can do a left click on it and then i can see the different alternate function associated to this pin so somehow associated with some high piece on basic gpio1 so for me it was just a gpio output now the pin is green that means it's properly configured and the associated initialization code will be generated also so with some default parameter and i will show you how to change them just after i can right click on it so here i can enter a user label so for me it's a lead in fact this will ease you the read or make your design more readable and also in the code generated it will generate some macro which we define and which allow to have your code more readable also so quite useful now let's check the parameter or default parameter of this gpio output i can find it in the alphabetic order with gpio or in categories system core gpio i've got my pa8 and i can find the configuration here output low output push output push pull no pull up no pull down low and the user label i can modify it or not so that is just the basic configuration of a gpio output now i would like to configure an ip like user which is associated with two pin here i've got different possibility to find those first i can just type user here i can find the different user possible if i put user one rx it show me the different pin that could be user uh, one rx let's select one i do a left click and i say user one rx so it's automatically open this this uh, configuration but i will not use it so it was just for the urx if i do the same for the takes propose other pin let's left click on user takes but as you can see it's always in um, orange that means it's not properly configured and this is because the initialization is not done and it should be done in this tab here if i activate it then the pin is properly configured okay but if i deactivate it i can also put them to the reset state the other possibility is just to activate user one and it will select for you by default to pin and to find the alternate function you will press the control button left click on the pin then it will show you the different capability or different possibility i can drag and drop just the pin and the functionality associated to it okay and now i've got my configuration also for the user of course i can change the label if i want for the moment it's user rx but i can put another one if i want and here again it's finished i would say everything is ready you've got the initialization parameter of this ip that are defined here you can activate of course the gma or the nvic if needed but this is not the purpose of this video so that's it for the basic uh, manipulation of gpio or pin assignment thank you